What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be doing work inside my engine bay. I'm gonna go to the pot store and I'm gonna pick up some engine mounts and transmission mounts because I wanna go ahead and switch everything out at one time and then maybe do some belts. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna catch y'all when I get back. For engine mount right here, it's broken off of it. And that's why my engine had a little shape. Got three new belts over there. I'm gonna replace all these with. When your engine start having that little shape to it, make sure you check your engine mounts. This is what a new one looks like. This is what a really old one looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on too. This is where the transmission mount located on your Honda. Mine's automatic. So make sure you buy an automatic transmission mount also. This is the old one. Always match, match them up to make sure you got the correct part. This is the new one. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on. So as of right now, I've done switched out that engine mount, switched out my transmission mount, painted my bracket white. And tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna do my rear engine mount also. What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing my tail lights. I'm tired of looking at the colored red and orange and clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with the tent spray and hopefully that makes them look better. If not, I'm gonna buy some and just have some aftermarket style. Stay tuned. So now I got them off the car. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my first coat using the VHT nightshades. I've used this stuff a lot and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. So after, this is how it turned out. I really like this color better. Just make it look a whole lot cleaner. And you still can see a little bit of the amber colors also. And I also noticed something last night when I went to go change out my brake pads both of my calibers were seized up. So what I'm gonna do is to go back to O'Reilly's and pick up new pads, rotors, and calibers for the front. And I'm gonna do both sides at the same time. And then hopefully by then I'll be finished with my front and have no more issues out of that. All right, just to be real right quick, I've been working about 70 hours a week. So trying to go to work and work at this car, work on this car at the same time has been hard for me because normally when I get out of work around 11 to 12, that's when I start working on this car. I finish up around 3 a.m. Then I sleep until about five and gotta be at work at six. So that's why it's so hard for me to record everything I do. But just to give y'all a little update, I'm gonna run you through what I've done off camera and get y'all up to date. So starting off, what I did first was straight pipe the car. What I did was cut off the muffler and I went to my job, picked up a pipe with two clamps, clamped the pipe on, and then I screwed in a little tip. So it looks a lot better. If none of y'all ever seen an old muffler, this is what an old muffler looks like that's really worn out. This is what keeps it so quiet. And it was literally falling out the, falling out the muffler. Now the next thing I did was got these off eBay, the side window vent visors. I like those on all my cars because I normally like to leave the window cracked a little bit. And this is just something I put on all of my cars. Y'all saw in a previous video, I added on a cold air intake. I bought this off of eBay. And what I did was I had a lot of k and stickers laying around. So I just slapped the stick on there, made it look better. I also cleaned up my engine bed a little bit, tucked all the wires away and zip tied them up. Thing I done was put on new brake drums, also brake shoes, and replaced all the wheel cylinders and brake hardware. And my boy Benny helped me out with this one. And the last thing I've done was I bought a new crank off of eBay. I also replaced my window regulator. So now my window rolls up. And next thing I'm gonna do 
just buy me a radio and I'm gonna start a radio. Alright YouTube, it's still the same day. It's at night now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape up my brake drums and I'm gonna spray paint them black because they've been looking rusted out and I'm tired of looking rusted. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray everything black. This is what I mean when I say they've been looking rusted. So I put some tape around my screws and I'm gonna just spray everything black and clean it up a little bit. right here is my favorite it helps with the rust that's why i like to use this and it present it prevents it also all right good morning it's been a couple of days since i made that last video uh it turned out pretty good i'm about to show y'all right quick so y'all can see the outcome and leave in the comments if you like it or not or if i should switch the color so now it's all glossy black Same as this one. I was thinking about red, but I see everybody with red and it looks kind of riced out when it's red. So I'm gonna just leave it black for a while until I find a better color. That's gonna be it for today's video. I just put an order in on eBay for some lowering springs for the Honda Civic. It's supposed to be here in three days. They're the cheap kind off of eBay. So hopefully that comes in hella soon. I also put an order in for a full exhaust and that's coming in two weeks from now. And whichever video, whichever one gets here first, that's gonna be the video I make. So stay tuned on my channel. Thank you for watching.